I am joined for short shots number three by the team of Go Tell Your Father. Ladies, if you want to introduce yourselves. Yeah, um, I'm Chloe Sarbib. And I'm Amy Taylor Rosenblum. We co-wrote and co-directed the movie. Yeah. Go Tell Your Father, that is um, playing in the communication and breakdowns short block. Friday 1.30. Congrats on uh, making it to the official, official selection of Palm Springs. Thank you. Is it? Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> We're Is it um, your first time in Palm Springs? Yeah. First time at Short Fest. That's great. Um, let's talk about the film. Definitely not a fun one. No, we were actually really stressed about this interview because our movie is a, a very sad movie. It, 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 it is extremely movie. sad. Yeah. <laughs> like, not in an um, overly dramatic way, though. Thank you. Just, that was uh, important to us. Yeah. It's just realistically very sad. Yes. That's why I thought we could um, talk about the film as you two are playing Jenga to release that tension. <laughs> Every block has questions. If you guys want to answer it, by all means. If you guys do not want to start a controversy, that's fine too. Because some of them <laughs> have a little bit of like, questions that might stir up things. My grandma might not be happy about I don't know if your grandma has an opinion on whether you're more of a Nicki Minaj or Cardi B person. I don't think my grandmother's that hip, but I appreciate that she might be, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe she has a very strong opinion about this question. Can we call a friend? Can we get her on the phone? Please call her up in Israel. Softa, you want to Cardi B or Nicki her? Minaj? She'd be like, hello, dear. How are you? Where are you? What's happening? And it would take up our whole spot. <laughs> deeply, deeply confused. But then we'd get to know so much about you. That's true. Yeah. Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> But yeah, like so you guys can start playing okay. as I will um, try to, um, to ask questions. Do I go in the tower, though? Do I, though? Because this seems like a safe first move to me. You can't do the top. No, you can't do the top. That's, That's against the, the rules. Thing of I don't remember how to do it. Okay, okay, okay. You got it? Okay, yes, I can do this. It is specifically going to be complicated because it's not exactly like... It so looks actually very precarious. Like I It is. You set I us up for also, failure. the table is probably not exactly I like flat. Is stacked. Pun intended. Stack game. Stack <laughs> it stuff. is. Okay. I agree with you. Okay. Well, I'm. I guess I'll go first. And I guess if you ask questions too, I won't. I'll feel like I can blame thinking about the question on. Well, here we go. Like we've been saying that the right. film is sad, but we haven't said why. So if you guys want to try to describe the film in like a few words. Sure. Um, so it's about a young woman uh, in college who's just recently had a questionable sexual experience. So she's trying to sort of identify what it is and then communicate that or not with uh, her family and the hey. men who love her most. There you go. Hey Where are you from? Not, it's not as interesting as our movie, so I will skip it. <laughs> yeah, it's a film. It, it's actually interesting that we're talking so much about how heavy it is because because the subject matter is so intense, mm. we really wanted to make sure that the world around our main character was actually full of life and that you got a sense of how much fun her life could be and how close-knit her family is, yeah. even though she's in a situation where she's very withdrawn from everyone. So that they actually play like shows in the, in the film. They, that Yeah, they, they do. They play, like, it's very fitting that we're doing this. Like, actually, in our first script, they did play Jenga, right? Oh my God, Missed opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> how did you know? I, I was there. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. In that Avalon, New Jersey. Okay. <laughs> you go, there you go. go. You answered the question. At least, like, we know that, it, like, you guys were in New Jersey. Yeah. Yes. For the shoot, yeah. For the shoot, yeah. It was in this beautiful town. In this um, beautiful How house. did you guys get on the project? Like, and you two co-wrote and co-directed. Ooh, that was and very no smooth. Uh, it's uh, definitely, really like, you two must really know each other very well. Yeah. We've been friends since early college and we lived together in college but we had never we were do, directing mostly theater at that time mm -hmm. um, and we had never really actually formally worked together but we traded most we, of the stuff that we did and yeah. got notes and thought like we'd cool always friends be, and roommates do right exactly but also we'd always be each other's outside eyes since Chloe mostly worked in film and I mostly did theater so it was like a great balance of perspectives um, and then we had been talking about this idea for a while and we were uh, on a little lover's weekend. No, I'm kidding. We're not lovers. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I have, like, I have a lot of everyone. friends and like, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, you were on a, yeah, on a yeah. weekend getaway. We just, yeah, yeah, we wanted to get out of the city for a weekend and then we started talking about it and Chloe said we should actually write it. Yeah. So, yeah. And then it was a process of just like really, it was, it's the most collaborative process I've ever been a part of. We truly co-wrote and co-directed it in a way that I don't know would have been possible Do with anyone. Do you guys still live together? No. no. Oh, because I was like, if you guys are like living together and working on this together, oh. like when does work stop and like you can talk to your roommate about that person you're working with that's annoying Total you. nightmare, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> no, it it I think it was it was a really rewarding process, but it also like obviously we fought. Like I mean, you know, that's just part of it. Yeah, that's part I think of it. most mostly worked. Less yeah. of the fight. <laughs> no, I don't mean like not fought, but just like there was there was a I would say fruitful disagreement that ended up making the movie better. Um, <laughs> where are you in your festival run with the film? This is uh, the film's. We're basically we're listed as a world premiere here, which okay. is very exciting. Um, we played one other really small festival in New York. But, local. Um, yeah, yeah, that's really great. Local. And it's just really exciting. We went to the opening program, and just the turnout here, the interest in the films, the size of the theaters, it's like, uh, it's amazing. And I think it's very rare for shorts to get the kind of... Yeah, audience know, and like... Audience and engagement and... It deserves. Yeah. yeah. There's and so the community often, engagement is really amazing, just even seeing all of the volunteers around and everyone's just been so friendly and welcoming. Yeah, they're so often, shorts are so often just like a stepping stone to something, and it's mm. really nice to have a place that and a, a, an audience that's interested in actually engaging with them for what they are as their own pieces of work. <laughs>